We're here with one championship newcomer, Nicholas Larson, who will be in the main event of 1158 this Friday, June 3rd, against Tawan Chai, PK Sainchai in a featherweight Muay Thai title or limiter. Nicholas, how are you doing? I'm doing so great, man. I'm feeling so good, feeling so grateful and blessed. So that's good. Good to hear. Well, you have taken this fight on pretty short notice or this main event. Is there any pressure getting thrust into the main event after the card was changed? Of course, man, there's always pressure and I love to have the pressure. This is just making me so excited and uh, it brings out the best of me. Right. You are known for your relentless forward pressure and your ability to take shots while coming back with more sting. Uh, would it be a wise decision to fight with that style against someone who can counterattack or hit as good as Tawan Chai can? Well, uh, let's see how it goes. Um, I, I see it more as a dance and uh, he, maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. I will put in the strategy that w uh, whatever works. So, uh, yeah, anything can happen. Um, yeah, I can say that this will be my style when I fight on Friday. Is a knockout win coming? How do you see your route to victory here? A knockout can for sure come in Friday night. Uh, I will definitely give me give my everything and uh, yeah we, we we play we make a we create a beautiful dance in the ring uh, or in the cage is probably going to be the case so uh, yeah i'm just excited to make a, a incredible show uh, the, the fans gonna enjoy it and uh, yeah i will bring the best with the, all the techniques that i can uh, provide and if you do get that victory i know you don't want to look too far ahead but uh, what is next is it that title shot then yeah, it seems like it's going to be a title shot next. Um, I'm, I'm just taking one step at a time. But of course, I would lie if I, if I didn't have the, 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 the champion belt in my mind. Uh, but what I want uh, with my career is to fight all the best guys. So uh, the title is beautiful, very beautiful. Uh, but I want to create something uh, that I can be proud of in the ring. And that's only together with the all the best, all the best fighters out there I want to fight. Your Instagram profile states you're a mental and performance coach. As a fighter, how valuable is it to have these kind of things in your, in your mental uh, armory? Is it, after all, overlooked by a lot of fighters? Well, I, I believe that many of the fighters, they, they have, have a gift, a uh, natural, uh, else they wouldn't be there. Uh, their performance uh, is a natural, uh, high performance, and they, but with the knowledge, how they can do it even better, definitely. It's a, it's a mental tool that uh, can, can yeah, change uh, the game to a new level. Uh, I definitely uh, respect the mental game. How important is it to you to get into opponents' heads like that? We've seen guys like Rod Tang and Pet Dam doing it. Uh, is it important for you to mentally break down your opponent before you get in the circle with them? Not at all. It's not my style. I just uh, think about me and how I can bring the best out of me. I don't have to uh, go in and be mentally uh, uh, yeah, challenge uh, my opponent. Uh, I just uh, focus on me and creating something beautiful. I have so much respect for my opponents. This is a journey and uh, I hope the best for my uh, opponents as well. Uh, hopefully they're going to bring their A game. They're going to bring the best out of uh, uh, themselves. And uh, yeah, we can create, we can create a, a beautiful show. Now, I know you just said you like to focus on yourself, but your opponent has a pretty fearsome record. He has over 100 wins in his career. Um, what, what makes you different from anyone he's fought before? Well, the thing is that I can fight anyone. Everyone is is uh, is just uh, the the better the record, the uh, the more challenge for me, the the, the more exciting I get. And uh, I love to fight guys like uh, Tom and Chai. He's uh, I, I'm really I'm really honored to fight uh, the top level guys. And he did uh, so beautiful the last uh, fight. So this is definitely something I'm so excited for. And uh, it doesn't matter for me if. Uh, if uh, the knockout rate is, is high, I've, I've, I met uh, yeah, a couple of guys. <laughs> so, uh, so, and I, I'm going to perform no matter what. I can fight against anyone. And you've said it before that it is your dream to reach one championship. Now you are here. What are the dreams you're chasing now, apart from getting that world title? Well, I'm living the dream. I must say this is just uh, a part of, uh, 
of uh, yeah the the dream chasing uh, i really enjoyed to be here the road is uh, yeah, it's all about the journey the road i have i have high ambitious uh, dreams that i follow and uh, yeah i'm 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 it really really love the journey and i feel so grateful to just be here and show that anything is possible uh to to fight on the biggest organization in the world and also uh against Taiwan Chai and also in the mainland and also uh, as a next uh, contender to the world title what the hell man i just feel amazed imagine how it is for me it's uh, I, I almost get the goosebumps so i'm i'm very grateful so grateful can you just tell us a little bit about your journey for people who don't know? You've, you're a veteran of, of glory. Uh, just tell us where you came from and how you got here. Yeah, well, um, I, my debut uh, was a world titles, and then I just went fast. I got signed with Glory Kickboxing in, I think, in 13, uh, and just take very, very, the, 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 the journey was just going so fast. I got injured in 14 uh, after uh, competing against uh, top level guys like Andy Risty, who uh, became the, the, the number one in, in the glory, glory, or the champion glory. And I was the only one who, who could go the distance with this guy. Uh, he knocked everyone out, uh, also Petrushan and, uh, and uh, Van Rosemarlen. So uh, uh, they had to see this uh, unknown guy in the glory kickboxing again. Uh, and then, uh, unfortunately, well, I had a fight. I knocked out Steve Moxon, and uh, then I was supposed to fight a former tournament. Got uh, sick. My preparation was incredible, but I trained too hard that my body could follow. Uh, and then I got a, 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 a very mad, uh, mean uh, staph infection in my legs, and. Uh, I almost uh, lost my legs and my, my, my infection number was just deadly high. So this took me out two years of the game. And instead of thinking about uh, fighting again, I had to uh, think about learning how to walk and just appreciate life as it was. Because at that time I was identifying with being uh, only being a, 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 a tire boxer. So, uh, so I was in a, a depressed situation where I couldn't enjoy my family. At that time, I had two lovely kids and a, a strong wife who's always been there with me. And they were just, they just wanted Nicholas and not, they didn't care if I was fighting or not. They just want the, the human being. And that's what my learning was in, in this period, just to be present, just to uh, uh, really be grateful for the things that I had. And uh, I, I learned so much and when i came back in 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 2016 no 17 actually uh i was flying i was fighting with gratefulness i didn't had uh, this fast uh, way of, of of thinking uh, what is the next what is the next i actually enjoyed the journey and i remember even though i fought this uh, new uh, world champion from poland uh lukas blavashki um i I remember that the fourth, I, 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 I really, really, I, I won three rounds uh, and, and I hope for a fourth uh, round because I just enjoyed to be back. This was just meant to be and I belong to the ring, but I, I won the fight and uh, yeah, there was only three rounds. Uh, yeah, so um, I've been in a journey. Then I said uh, goodbye to my old gym uh, uh, in 2018 took uh, to Asia, had to find some new people that could develop me uh, or could help me in my development. Uh, and that also been a very, very big move and important move for me to just uh, explore uh, what is uh, the next new level for me? How can I still develop as a fighter? They call me the veteran in, in glory kickboxing. And uh, I, I took off to Asia, uh, searching for all who could help me in this uh, journey. And, and today I'm together with uh, amazing people who really provide something incredible to my journey. I can grow with them and I'm still in a developing state in, in an age of 32. So uh, it's, the, it's the right time I'm in uh, coming in one championship. I feel so good. 
I see it still as a process to fight against the top level guys. I still have more to show the world and I'm just yeah amazed how the journey just uh, went. So that's my story, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good to hear. Uh, good luck for Friday. Um, can't wait to see you in action, Nicholas. It's going to be a great fight, I'm sure. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you so much.